What is going on YouTube? Death Star Slice here, and I'm here with a new series that I'm starting on my channel. And it's basically me recording my drawing process. I, uh, you know, I just decided to pull up something here and while I was working on it and uh, just record what I was doing. This is by no means a tutorial, but I just want to, you know, have an example of my process on video. So right now, I'm going to start with this uh, this one piece uh, picture that I was working on. And if you can't tell, this is from Film Z. I, uh, I did the line work already, for the most part, and I want to finish coloring and everything else. Alright, so I found the image I was looking for, and I just want to get the colors all right on here. So I'll just do probably just go with that for now. And I'll make it darker as I keep going. So I go in here and I sample the same color as Luffy's skin, who's standing right next to him, which should be fine cuz they I mean they all have about the same uh skin color. Except actually, I think Luffy might be a little paler. Or not paler, a uh, tanner. But, that's alright. Just keep going in and doing my thing. Doing my thing. And we want this layer to be under uh, Zoro's hair so that it doesn't, you know, get in the way. that. And I usually just kind of go crazy. You know, go all the way around and everything. And then uh, just erase those extra marks that I don't need. That's usually how I do it. I'm not going to make this picture perfect right now. I mean, nothing nothing really ever is until... I mean, nothing really ever is the first time I go through with it. But, uh, you know, I just want to get through and see how everything's going to look when it's colored. And I still need to go back and color those clouds, too. And I always manage to save every couple of uh, every couple of minutes or every time I make a huge uh, change to what I'm doing, just because you know stuff happens. I don't have the best computer anyway, so I don't want something to break down while I'm working. Now I gotta get the color of his earrings, which I assume are like a gold color. Yeah. So we will do that. We'll just sample this and go from there. Make it a little more yellow. Let's try that one. Alright. So I want... Now I want to get the color of his shirt. Which he has a... Actually, I'm going to go in and change this line first. Because I don't really like how that looks. But he has a kind of a gray um, shirt under his jacket, and then the jacket itself is more of a, it's a darker gray. But he, he doesn't have anything that's completely black on him. So, just do that really, actually this is his line, so this is going to be black. We'll just want to do that really quick, try to work that out. So let's go in and color that. 
Zorro jacket. Yes. And we're going to make that in inner gray. Start putting that in there. And then we want to make the inside of his jacket a little bit darker. Actually, from it looks like, is that, I can't tell if that's a vest or, like, just shading for his jacket. Like, it's a little bit darker right there. I haven't seen this movie in a while, so I don't remember exactly what he was wearing. But, I think that should be fine if I just, you know, go off of the shading. I think that's what it is. So we'll make this, we'll put in the light part first, and then I'll probably go in with the mixer brush to fix that next. You're doing good, Zoro. You're looking good. Because everyone loves Zoro. Zoro is the best. If I do say so myself. No, I take that back. <laughs> Zoro, he's... He, I wouldn't say he's my favorite. He's, he's definitely got his moments, though. And he's, he's pretty awesome. And, uh... I think it's just because... If you had me pick a favorite straw hat couldn't tell you. I just, I love all of them. I think they're really awesome, and they're gonna, they're gonna do whatever they set out to do. I know that's because, you know, they're the main characters, and they're supposed to win and everything, but, you know, I think they've got stuff going for them right now. Like for you, uh, for you anime watchers out there, him and Pika stuff is gonna go down. I'm telling you, some good stuff. All right, so when I get a lot of layers for one person, I usually just group them and name it that character. Like that's what. I did for Luffy and Sanji, because I already finished them for the most part. Like, see, like Luffy and Sanji. So now that Zoro is like that, just his flat colors. I know I shaded in his jacket a little bit, but I just wanted to see how that would look. Alright, so now that I did the base colors for everyone. So I'll start with Luffy, Mr. King of the Pirates himself. And usually how I do things, this is something I picked up in school, and something that I do, you know, a lot. I usually, when I shade, especially digitally, I pick a light source, or I find the light source, which in this case is going to be from the, the top left, right there. And... What I do is I sample the color that I'm using for the face, which I already did, and make it a little bit darker. It doesn't it doesn't have to be a certain value, but just it just has to be darker. But not too much darker. So then I will go and you know just kinda go over the hair. And I usually do it on the same layer so that I can, uh, so I can mix it. And 
and I notice his his eyes are kind of getting in the way there, but we'll be able to fix that. And sometimes I don't mix it, and sometimes I do. It really depends on what I'm doing. But I think I want to mix it this time, or at least see how it looks. So when I do that, I usually I don't um, I don't really keep the straight lines, or I don't have to, because it's just going to be mixed anyway. So we'll just do that first, just to see how it looks when I mix it. that right there. And that didn't come out too bad. I just gotta make sure to keep my line straight when I do it. This is where you need to keep your line straight. Or else it looks really sloppy and you don't really know what you're shading. Or people will think that you don't know what you're shading. kind of it just kind of um i think it kind of emulates that like that pencil smudge look which i which i like so there's that and i'll go ahead and do his you know his chin area as well so that will be probably like that i would say And then I gotta make sure his um that doesn't go into his upper chin area. Just gotta keep that separated. And now we mix. Now usually when it's a big uh spot like that, I don't mix the inside. There's no need to. I just mix the outside line. see what that does for me. Actually, I'm going to switch to the regular brush real quick just so I can just so that's not all weird. In there. Then we have his his inside. Which I don't really like how that all looks like that. So I'll try to fix that a little bit more. And then erase the outside of it. And there's that. And I'll I'll go off of what uh they did here for the most part. So I'll add a little bit on the side of his neck. Like the back of his neck and the back of his face are probably spots that I want to hit. And then his whole ear as well. Just like that. So now we switch back to the mixer brush and start doing our thing. That doesn't look too bad. Actually, why am I going back to Crow when I have the image right here? You know, sometimes I just don't think. I really don't. I just do. 
And that's okay sometimes. But sometimes you feel really stupid. And you don't want that. People feel stupid all the time. Alright, so I'll do his hat next. And same same deal. Just with a different color. And usually if I start uh, mixing one part of something, I usually just do that for the rest of the piece. Just to keep it all consistent. So Luffy's... His hat is just a circle, or the shading of his hat is just a circle all around, just like his hat is in this picture, in this drawing, this image, whatever you wish to call it. Alright, so I will, should probably go farther out a little bit. Might be a little too much actually, but I think it should be okay. So now we mix. Is that no? I was trying to see if it uh, would mess up his the lines on his hat, but that's part of the line work, obviously. So. That will not be affected. I'm not going to do too much, just enough so that the lines aren't so uh, clear cut. And there's that. That's pretty much. It's pretty much Luffy, for the most part. Those are the straw hat boys looking for Zed I will uh I'll call it here that's fine all I really need to do is just flush out the uh the clouds and maybe this pole back here but besides that it's pretty much done uh, I really like what I have here so there's that I'll call it there and once again if you guys enjoyed this style of video please leave me a comment, maybe even subscribe or, you know, like the video, share it with your friends, stuff like that. And as I said before, I've got Twitter, at Death Star Slice, Tumblr, DeathStarSlice.tumblr.com, and also DeathStarSliceArt.com, or .tumblr.com, excuse me, where you can, you know, either just talk to me, leave suggestions, stuff like that. Those are the best places to do it, and as well as YouTube right here. So if you guys, you know, if you enjoy that, uh, just let me know what, what's what's going on, what you guys want to see, and hopefully I'll do another one of these again pretty soon. So I will catch you guys later.